Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you a very intentional gift guide with items and things that people actually want. Things that they will use. Things that say, I love you, I'm thinking of you, I know you have a lot on your plate right now, and this is what I think is gonna help you. I've covered everything. We're gonna cover gifts for her, gifts for him, gifts for kids, and even free gifts and super, super low budget gifts at the end. So stay tuned for those. I'm really excited. I love giving gifts. I think it's one of my love languages. So this is very fun for me, and I hope you get some really good ideas out of this. So let's start with her. Your friend, your mom, your wife, your sister. These are things that every single woman in my life would appreciate, would like, and would use. So, number one is literally anything from Peak Tea. This is a really high quality tea company that literally every woman in my life either wants, has, or is talking about. Specifically, their matcha and their BT Fountain electrolyte drink. This is what I have on my Christmas list because of the reviews. The reviews say that if you want glowing skin, you should drink this. And I've heard it on podcasts, I've heard it from people that I trust, that it literally transforms their skin and it's from the inside out. So if there's something you can drink that supports your hydration and the moisture in your skin, you're not gonna go wrong here. Stocking stuffers, regular gift, it's on my regular gift list, I don't have a big one, but Peak Tea BT Fountain drink is on mine. So can't go wrong there. Number two is Morgan Victoria Design. If you're looking for a piece of art or something that's really intentional for your parents or your fiance or something, she does custom watercolor paintings, mostly of homes and nature. But I just think like to give a gift of a painting of someone's home is beautiful. I actually have a piece from her and she did it for my boys room and I Love it. It just brings so much color and life into their space. And yeah, I couldn't recommend her more. She's got so many options on her website. Number three is jewelry. If you're wanting to give a gift of jewelry or something beautiful like that, the company that I love, I trust, and I recommend is called Summer in Greece. Designed and created by this woman named Sky. I've actually met her before and she's incredibly kind. She also has a fiance from Greece, so all of her pieces are inspired by Greece and you can just tell the difference in pieces from America and pieces from Europe. I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm wearing her earrings right now. This one, they're her like diamond pearl drop earrings. And then I also have one of her necklaces. But I'm just like, if you're gonna buy jewelry, get it from someone who knows what they're doing, who has beautiful inspiration behind it and is doing it because she loves it. Instead of just these mass produced companies who are not as intentional as you think. So again, support a small company and get something that's handmade. So, so special. Number four is a magazine subscription to Eden and Vine. This is what it looks like. It's one of the most beautiful magazines that I've ever, ever picked up or owned. And I have, I have the Magnolia ones, just so you know. My grandma gives them to me. But this is, like if you want a real practical guide in your hands for living intentionally, homemaking, womanhood, this is it. It is not only the most beautiful magazine I've ever owned, but it's the most helpful and intentional, like you have recipes, you have stories from other women and their walks, you have like autumn apple pie tart, mm, what? And thrift store guides in here, how to rise and how to rest. Like this is literally me, but a magazine. And I, they are the sweetest people. So I couldn't recommend this more. Okay, now let's move on to the men. Number one for a man gift is Brain Juice by Organic Olivia. And you're probably like, huh? I say this because what man in your life doesn't want to get ahead or be better or overachieve? Not that that's like our goal in life, but if you could give them something to help their brains work a little bit more, this is for the men and for the women. <laughs> Brain Juice, my husband loves this stuff. He swears that when he takes it, he's more focused, he's sharper, and that's kind of like, what man doesn't want to do that? What man doesn't want that little one-up, if you know what I mean? So, Brain Juice but Organic Olivia. Number two is the Mudita Alarm Clock. I have received more 
questions about this particular alarm clock than any other product that I have put on my channel. But I guess everyone just wants a soothing and dependable alarm clock in the morning without it being your iPhone. I'm huge on plugging your iPhone in your bathroom and so many people keep it next to their bedside because of their alarm. And this is an incredible way to get rid of that habit, to stop scrolling at night, and also to wake up to incredibly soothing, gentle, and calming sounds instead of something that will spike your cortisol, which the iPhones absolutely do that every time. Not only that, but this also has like meditation timers, power nap timers. It's really wonderful, and it's also a minimalist company, so. I love that. I'm also wearing their watch, their minimalist watch with this beautiful cork band. And I just wanted to show it to you guys because I love it. It's so sleek and I can dress it up, dress it down. They also have some watch bands that you can switch out. Yeah, really cool, really intentional. They only have this clock, one other clock, a phone and a watch. All ways to like make things simpler for all of us. So I love Murita for that reason. Number three, Board games. Honestly, I get board games for my husband because I want to play them with him. I want activities that bring everyone together. And here are some of our favorites. Five Crowns. Best game ever with a big group of people. It's really easy to learn. We stayed up so late laughing so hard playing this game. Can't go wrong. Sequence, great for you and your husband, you and your best friend. It's a great two-person game. It can also be a four-person game. And it's really, like, I was surprised how much I really liked that. My sister got it for me last year. And then this one, the, this is very hard to pronounce. Hugga, I think, is how you pronounce this word. It's a Danish word. But it's cozy conversation cards. Like, here's a question. Are you good at telling jokes? And you go around and everyone kind of answers. I think that's so much fun because... What are you gonna come up with in that conversation? The next one is, what's been the best decade of your life so far? Like that is just intentionality in a box, all right? I love games, so that could be for a woman too, or for your children. Number four for men is anything in the realm of their hobby. I'm gonna give you a few like fireball ideas that I've done for Tate in the past or helped my sisters with. Are they coffee people? Get them some special coffee or a coffee maker or a new mug. Are they into golf? Head cover, new towel from their favorite golf course or a new shirt from their favorite golf course. Are they into fitness and working out? Maybe a new watch or an Epic Water Filters water bottle. Tate loves his Epic Filters water bottle because he tastes the difference in regular tap water versus filtered water. You guys know I'm a big fan of those, so I will always tell you guys about them. I mean, do they like reading? Do they like drawing? Do they like hiking? Think about the things that they love. Maybe like look that up online. Gifts for the adventurer. Gifts for the hiker. Gifts for the bookie. Just a little advice there. For men, it's a little bit harder to shop for because they're not really, I don't know where I'm going with that. They're just, they're just harder to shop for, okay? But that's how you can be thoughtful. Let's move to kids. Number one for children is love every play sets. I have the investigator right here, but it's for my children, so I'm gonna be quiet. But this is what the box looks like. It comes with every single item in that play kit. They're all listed up here and like why they're supportive to a child at this age and with these kind of interests. I mean, it's so well done that I order one of these every single Christmas and I can actually divvy it up into six different gifts, which is amazing and really worth the price if you think about it. You have puzzles, you have match and tap hammers, you have like hoops where you can throw bean bags in. And this is a third play set that I have used from Love Every. So you can't go wrong and you can customize it to their age, which is amazing. Number two for children, and I say this because I'm doing this for my kids, I'm ordering them aprons and their own kitchen utensils so that they can take part in the kitchen with me. I cook every meal from home and I also wanna teach them how to do it themselves and how to be responsible, how to cook, how to take care of their bodies with the food that they put in their bodies. So I'm literally welcoming them in, but there aren't enough utensils for all of us. So I wanna give them their own personal sets where they're like, mom, I'll go get my measuring spoons and my apron. Like I just, I want them to know that they're part of this process. It's not just me serving them 24 seven. There's also a really good book that I'm reading about it that just drives that point home that they need to be included with 
everything that I'm doing if you want to set them up for success. Number three, another love every toy, but it's not a play set. Let me show you. They have never gotten rid of this item on their website because it's such a hit and I agree. It is a table play setting and then it comes with a fork, a knife and a spoon that are all kid friendly, also a cup. I don't know where a cup has gone, but we've had this for over two years. It comes with napkins and they get to set their own play settings, which is fun for them because I think it's a game and it comes in this awesome tube, but they're also learning how to set the table. It, that's a win-win for moms, if, I, if I've ever heard one. Lastly, intentional gifts for kids. I would say things that you can keep forever. Legos, magnet tiles, marble building sets, Lincoln logs. In my family, we don't have all of those. We have magnet tiles and Legos. We get them out for a season, we put them away for a, se for a season, but they always come in handy and my kids always love building with those. Speaking of children. Now we're onto the free gifts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven free gifts slash really, really low budget things that tell people I'm thinking of you, I wanna be intentional, but I can't really afford it. And it is totally fine if you can't afford that. I am doing almost every single one on these lists this Christmas because we're not, we're not in an abundant stage of life right now. But I know they're all gonna still be meaningful, even maybe even more meaningful than a gift would be. So number one, a dinner invitation. And actually like get it, print it out, make it really beautiful, invite them over for their favorite dinner. Make it a standout dinner, like different with beautiful ambiance and you set the table and you have to wear a certain clothing. You don't have to go that extreme, but just make it really meaningful. Number two is you can create music. My sisters and I love to sing and for Christmas for our grandparents, we're gifting them with a few of their favorite songs and it's very meaningful for them more than any gift we could actually give them. We're spending our time and our energy and it's more enjoyable to give this kind of gift than it is to go out and buy something for them. And I know they're gonna say the same thing on the receiving end of this. Number three, art. Are you artistic? Are you trying to watercolor? Are you trying to do some abstract stuff? Just design it, create it, and give it to somebody in a beautiful frame or a thrifted frame. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be incredible. Just the fact that you put in time, effort, and your creativity and give, gave it to somebody, that's beautiful. Number four, a letter. I'm thinking of like people that are out of town, people that you don't see very often, people that you won't see for the holidays, but you still wanna say, hi, I love you, I'm thinking of you. Write them a letter. There's nothing more special than getting a surprise letter in the mail. Number five, give something of yours that you don't use anymore, that you know they love. I've had people give me jewelry when I say, oh, I love that. I, I get it for a Christmas, Christmas gift and it is so meaningful because it was theirs, it was on them and they know that I love it and they gave it to me. That just screams, I love you to me. My grandma's done that a few times and it's just so beautiful. Or do, do a book or an apron that they love or a dish that they you know they love of yours. Next on the list, some baked goods. I'm really big into sourdough bread right now. I feel like I'm gonna be giving a bunch of loaves to people and all I'm paying for is flour because it's starter, water, and flour. That's really easy for me to do. It takes a lot of time and effort, but it's meaningful to people. I would love to get something like that. And then last is offer to do their hobby with them. If they're big into pickleball, say, I'll go play pickleball with you. Or if they're big into reading, ask them on a date to the library to go read for a night. Just be creative with those things. Do they like ceramic painting? Go do that, I don't know. But those are great options. And I'm just gonna say, intentionality doesn't have a price tag. So make sure you remember that when you're gifting people, it doesn't have to be expensive. Just think about who they are, what they love, what they value, and go from there. I hope this helps. Have a lovely Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind.